I'm Scott Gordon, and about 10 years ago, I got a phone call, and I heard this soft voice on the other end just say hi, and I knew in a minute that it was Kijana. Well, Scott's always been there for me, because I didn't have my father with me when I was younger. I didn't really look at the race or anything, he was just part of my family. It's helped me become a better parent, it's helped me become a better husband. Words really can't explain how close the bond is between a big brother and a little brother, if, if the match is very perfect. If you wasn't there, who knows what happened now. and big sisters of America. Goodness knows there comes a time in life where we all need a heavy, a shoulder to lean on or a hand to hold. And I'd like you to meet Viola Bostic, who is from the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America. And that is exactly what you're providing for our young people who are looking for the right decisions, the right ways to go. Could this work in the cases with the kids? I'm so delighted to say yes, it can. Um, what we do works. I want you to know that I'm really concerned about you. We have an organization of volunteers who will do what it is I think I heard the good doctor say. <laughs> we don't preach. What we do is listen. We provide caring adults to listen to your problems and hopefully to work with you together to come up with a solution. Joseph, you're going to have to help mom figure out how you're going to get your homework done, right? What might mom say to, to Joseph um, to help get to that point? Well, let's sit down and work out a plan that would work for both of us mm -hmm. and listen to his ideas and then make an agreement. And then when they have an agreement, it's like, just say, what was our agreement? And mm -hmm. then the kids are usually willing to keep the agreement if they've helped decide on it. No. Shaking your head. I've already done that. <laughs> we've been down that road and we've, we've set goals and we went through. He has an agenda book that's to be brought home every day that his teacher signs that I sign of what he has for homework, what's expected of him, and what he expects of us to do. I do my part. I take him to the library. We take the time every weekend. He's worked with, but he, he, gets, he has a attention span of zero. But was he, he get, involved in that plan? Was he involved in deciding on the plan? We asked him. We gave, I didn't get to decide what curfew I wanted to be on. Well, I'm sorry about that. You'll never be able to decide that. Dark, you're in the house. I mean, I'm sorry. I know. That's, that's what I want. I mean, I want to be able to well, come home Well, that's what you do, day. right? Well, I mean, it, it's a problem. Yeah. It, yes. It's its own problem because sometimes you're like, well, I need your help on some things. and. I feel like that I should have my own free time to go outside and play. Joseph, who are some people you look up to? You have any? Mike Santa Rosa, he's a famous skateboarder. Yeah, maybe he could be a big brother to you one day, you know? If you got to ever meet him, would that be real cool for you? Would you make a <laughs> promise maybe to do better and work with mom a little bit more with your homework? Yeah, I've been trying really hard. Would I, you try a little harder? Yeah, I'm going to try my hardest. Is that something that you and I and Mom can agree on? Yes, ma'am. And did you have part of that decision? <laughs> yeah, you may help make that decision, yes, remember? So now what do we decide? You're going to do your homework when? When, um, I, after I go outside. No, oh, no, 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 no! Okay, 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 okay. He's smart! He's smart! You're going to have to agree with Mom, because Mom says she's not going to bend on the curfew thing. You have to agree to do your homework after school. Is that what you want, Mom? I can wait until he comes in at dark, as long as it doesn't take three and a half hours there to you work go. on one subject. <laughs> okay, so did you hear what Mom just said Yes, ma'am. Okay, and we listen to you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you promise? Yes, ma'am. We can shake on it? Okay. All right, I want you to come here, come here. I want you to yell at the top of your lungs, and maybe if that guy's skateboarding somewhere through New York City, he might hear you. Scream out his name. Boy, Santa <laughs> Come on down! Is that him? <laughs> Go meet him! <laughs> look, look what he brought you! Got some stuff for you here, but you gotta promise me something. Okay, hey Mike, good to meet you. Go on, make that promise. It's so nice for you to come. Now you cut a deal with. You gonna promise you're gonna do good in school? Yes, sir. And stay and cool. stick through high school. Uh huh. None. Cool. Yeah. Now you just made a promise to your idol, your hero here. So you have to do well, okay? That's the agreement. All right. Anything else you want to say? If you want to be a skateboarder. Good and all, but uh, it's not going to last forever. So you got to have something to fall back on, you know. So you got to finish school. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it. You can join us. You want to sit down? Have a seat. Don't leave. Stick around. We might need you.
again. Now, Damien, I know you think you're a big old tough guy. But you know something? I have a lot of contacts. Who's somebody you admire an awful lot? Charles Barkley. Uh-huh. Well, I want you to see something here. I called my buddy Charles Barkley, and I said, we've got a young man who's hoping to do well in school, aren't you? Yeah, if I get back in. <laughs> if you get back in. Let's cut some deals right now, because Charles Barkley is going to be watching this show. And he wrote a letter to you, and let me read this letter from the Phoenix Suns. Dear Damien, Charles wanted to pass along this message to you, and he says... Education is the only way to better yourself as a person and to make sure you can always provide for yourself and your family. Basketball is a great game, but it's more important to listen to your teachers and pay attention to your schoolwork. It's going to make a big difference in your life. You can count on it. And we hope you take Charles's words to heart because education is the key to your future. Sincerely, the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> Now, Charles and all of the Phoenix Suns made me promise that you have to cut a deal with your mom and your aunt. It can be a little deal because it's, everything starts small. You've got to start small, but try. <laughs> something you can all agree on. Can you do that? Because Charles is watching the show, okay? <laughs> I'll be happy if Damien can just stay in school. I'm not in school. Well, you got to get back in. He's getting back in January the 2nd. Start of a new year. New year. Damien, you going to stay in school? You know what Try. blows me away? The boy said he wants to be a basketball player and he's flunking PE. <laughs> I don't like to dress out. I don't like you, the short shorts they give us. You don't like the girls. short shorts, so you're going to blow an entire future to be our next Charles Barkley because you wouldn't put shorts on. Charles wears shorts. I know, but he, yeah, he making money. <laughs> yeah, he money well, he got there in school first. Please promise <coughs> that you'll stay in school because we don't want to let, if he took the time to write this letter to you, I certainly don't want to let him down from my show, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay. Tell Aunt Marilyn, too. Uh, Please. He's yeah. got to prove it to me. No, okay. telling me is not going to be enough because I know him. It might I know well, him. one more term, that there's hey. always... I give him one more term. One more. What are you trying to say, Lily? It might help if you have just, even if it's just an inch of faith, <laughs> because I know that Look, all I the have time... I faith in him. I've told him he can be more than well, he is. Well, all I've heard, though, from you ever since you've been up here is you putting him down, you putting yeah. him down. Yeah. And I know people had to uplift me before I would uplift myself. And I've been at the bottom of the barrel, and I know how it is. And whenever people are always putting you down, it doesn't look like there's an up. It just looks like it gets worse. Now I'm clean and I'm sober because people took the time to uplift me, not put me down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I've got, can somebody toss this to me? I understand you play a mean game of softball. And I want you, when you go back to school, to get on that team. And I want you to catch a few good grades, okay? <laughs> All right, here you go. For your welcome back to school gift, okay? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, kids. We're going to be right back in a minute, everybody. Oh, Grandma and Joseph.